let me show you the initial configuration of Motorola Moto G56. So once you turn on your phone, you can choose the language. So the first thing that we can do is choose the language that you wish to use for your phone. And of course, we also have some vision settings that you can go through in case you need that. But we're going to actually go back and we're going to press start. Let's begin our initial configuration. There we go. Now over here we can set up this phone by using another device. So if you want to, you can quickly set up your phone by using another phone, your old phone that you still have, in order to copy settings, accounts and pretty much everything. However, I'm going to perform a clean setup, so I'm just going to use skip text over here in the bottom left corner. Next we can connect to our Wi-Fi network. So search for your Wi-Fi network. In case you need to, you can also press over here, see all Wi-Fi networks in order to find more Wi-Fi options. And we're going to select our Wi-Fi network and then you want to simply enter the password. In case you don't want to connect to Wi-Fi or you can't, you can just press set up offline. So let me quickly connect. And after that, you should be able to see this screen that we are ready, getting ready to set up the next screen appears shortly after that so now we have privacy and security settings where we can choose what should be used i can recommend using optimized battery use and the rest is pretty much optional like smart updates if you want your phone to automatically update or not then of course you can agree to that or not so once you go over here through these options we can press accept and continue now our phone is looking for updates so this is the case, especially if you, of course, use Wi-Fi. So now what you need to do is simply wait for the phone to be done with, um, with update check. Next, you should be able to see the Google sign-in page. So you can sign into your Google account. If you don't have your Google account set up yet, if you need to create a Google account, then of course we can press this text over here and then follow the instructions that you will see on the screen. You can also skip this sign-in page by pressing skip over here in the bottom left corner. If you do decide to sign in to your Google account, then you can choose who will be using this phone. In my case, I will be using this device. But if you want to set up this phone for your child, then of course you can select the other option. And let's proceed by pressing next. Over here we need to agree to Google Terms of Service. There we go. And now we need to wait for the next screen to appear. After that, you should be able to immediately set up a password or in this case, a pin code for the lock screen. If you want to use a different password type, then you can choose send, uh, sorry, not send, uh, set, uh, screen lock security options. Sorry about that. Screen lock security options in order to choose a pattern, pin code or anything else or just a normal password. If you want to, you can set up the password later by using skip over here in the bottom left corner and then just confirm your choice if you want to do that. I'm going to actually skip. We can, of course, do that later in the settings, so no point of doing that right now. Now, here we can copy apps and data uh, from another phone once again, or if you have a backup on your Google account, then uh, you can just go next and you can just copy everything that you wish to copy. In my case, once again, I'm performing a clean setup, so I'm going to do this later. There we go. Besides that, now we can uh, enable and disable location over here. We can also allow Wi-Fi and Bluetooth scanning, which I think should be actually disabled since we don't have to use it all the time. And there is also this option, send usage and diagnostic data, so you can agree or disagree to that. And then we can proceed by pressing accept. Then you can set up the backup of your device by using your Google account. So if you want to backup your photos and videos as well as other device data that is listed over here in the description, then of course you can decide to do so by making sure that these options are enabled and then you can turn on the backup. If you don't want to backup anything, then you can press down to backup over here on the left side. Next, we can choose our default browser and search engine. So let's press next. If you don't know which browser you should choose, then most likely you can choose Google Chrome. I think this is the most popular choice. You will definitely be satisfied if you don't know which one uh, to go for. So in my case, I'm going to choose the Google Chrome browser and then we're going to press set as default. And then the search engine. So here, the most popular choice is, of course, Google. But of course, feel free to choose anything else from these two menus. 
and then we have this screen where we can continue the setup we can essentially just leave and get reminded later to continue the setup so you will uh, receive a notification uh, after some time uh, but you can of course just skip that and never return to the setup screen in my case i'm gonna just continue in order to show you what you can find here so in this case we have quick share which can be um, enabled over here pretty much so we can press i agree in order to be able to use it next we have some additional checking you can set up google pay apparently which might appear only if um, your moto g56 has nfc which um, is not available in every region i believe so in my case i'm gonna skip that you can set it up later as well and here we have some bloatware unfortunately which i guess we have to agree to install because there is no option to block the download so we're gonna proceed and let's wait for another screen to show up now over here we can stay in touch with uh, motorola updates so you can allow notifications if you want to however i'm gonna just press not now and then once again because i don't want to receive any notifications i don't want to receive any emails from motorola as well so we're gonna select not now again twice then we have the live lock screen which allows you to change the wallpaper every time you pretty much go to the lock screen i'm not a fan of that so i'm gonna disable it and we're gonna proceed by pressing next then we have the navigation style so you can choose buttons or gestures i'm gonna stick with buttons but i'm gonna change the order so that i have the back button on the right side and then we have the theme which we can choose between light dark and transition which of course enables dark theme based on um, time of the day so i'm gonna stick with light then over here we can set up parental controls so you can just press setup button over here i'm just gonna skip i don't need them and there we go now we can press finish so we should be able to go to the home screen over here we can just press go to my home screen over here press got it we have some additional bloatware unfortunately and i believe even if we uncheck everything then some th things will be installed anyway so i'm just gonna try to skip but like i said i'm pretty sure these apps will be installed yeah as you can see there are some bloatware apps unfortunately but that is essentially it as you can see we have access to the home screen so now you can start using your phone you can start setting up etc thanks for watching leave a like and subscribe